design I want to do with you. If he chose right now and said, I don't want, I don't want you to have no He can suck it out of me and take his lot. He can take his breath out of me. Yeah. So we need to what say? We need to be thinking of what how we be really thinking about mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. People say I'm big and grown and bad. Mm -hmm. You ain't bad. Mm -hmm. We in Deuteronomy 30 in verse 20. Okay. And length of days. And length of days. See, our days is length. Come on. That's why, you know, I was sitting up there and I was thinking about me and my, my sister Diane were talking. You know, they were talking about time. Time. And you know, it ain't so much talking about the time of him coming back. Your time of your life that he has set up, he can lift it. It's strong. And you be wasted. You wasted time. Amen. When you playing around, got plans, you need to do something, you better go do it because you don't know your time. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes you won't enjoy your time. And look, I mean, I look at Mother Thompson, the life that she lived and everything she does was pleasing the eye. He set her time up. He lifted it. Amen. Now she's 90 some years old. He, I have seen, he done lifted it. And the Bible says he only give a 77. That's a long life. And she got a sound body in the midst of it. Some folks got the 30 years old walk right here like this. Amen. Oh, Ooh, I, I'm thankful a lot. Lift up of day, our days. You got to hear something. See that days. <laughs> Got a lot of days. <laughs> All right. That thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy father. Okay, the land that he done swore unto his father. See, he keeping the covenant with who? To Abraham. To Abraham. To, to Isaac. To Isaac. And to Jacob. And to Jacob. So he is keeping this covenant. With the ancestors of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To do what? To give them. To give them. Amen. This thing. We're blessed. Amen. And don't really realize how blessed we are of our, even our ancestors from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and them had went through all that with him, with God. To give us the opportunity that we have today. That is, we always set up. Only we, we don't see the blessings of the Lord because we out of order. Amen. We choose the what? The curses. Yes. Which is out of the flesh. Amen. And that's why we are not getting the full benefit that we should have because we don't even know where that is in the word. We don't, we don't search it out. Amen. He said keep a record. Now, if he keep a record on me, don't you know he got my stuff right that much on Go in and find the record. I got you down here. Just like Jesus did when he was in the synagogue, he picked up the book. When he was in six, uh, Isaiah 61, he picked it up, took the book, and read it by himself. Then he took it, he said it, gave it back, and said it back down. Now, I said, where you at in the book, lady? <laughs> you go to flip and pay well. Hey, I thought I was in song. <laughs> no, go in John. <laughs> so you need to know where you at. Now, he keep me in Matthew. Tell he, he tell me out. When I'm out of order, don't you be like this. Don't you be that they here came over there wrong with twin. They here came the Hebrew twin. Come on. That's 
so I don't oh, want that. We stand still in, in, in there. I want you to. Now we go to the right and left. I'm going right back over. See, he's showing me how he's keeping us in the in the order of where he wants us to be, where he set up. Y'all set up. Just follow the set and set up. He got you set up. Only reason you don't know it because you, you got to go to the sword that set you up. I have set up people. I have put you in place. I knew I know everything about your wife. I have already set it up. All you got to do is see me. The kid. It's already done, lady. I just got to keep seeking your blood. Amen. All right. Deuteronomy 11, verse 20 through 26, the way he said. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house and upon thy gates. Okay, that's you. You the house and the gates of your heart. That your days may be multiplied. That your days may be what? Multiply. So my days should multiply. And the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. So the same thing God going to do for your children, for you, he's going to do it for your children. You ain't got to worry about your children. You let God called you home. He did it by Abraham, kids. Amen. Your kids are taken care of after you leave this earth. He's going to take care of your children. Amen. That's awesome. He's going to do it. Look what he said. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments, which I command you. So I got to diligently what? Keep his command. Amen. I got to diligently keep being obedient. That means I need to be more aware of him than I do other things. Diligently means pay close attention to him. That they're like, you can be somewhere and you tell me, Sarah, stay close. Don't, don't get way. <laughs> I'm following you. You know, just like we went to Guam and Barbara was back that time there and laid me and you way over there. And we, she told me, you doing like this. This is what he said. Delicate means stay close to me. Amen. Pay attention to me so that your life will multiply. Amen. That you will increase, not decrease. The more you stay close to him, the more life he shows himself to you to direct your path. Come on. He want you got delicate. Keep my command. I got to set up. If I say you to stay on this straight line, walk. Don't go over there and visit. I didn't get back. No, he didn't go over there. He stayed. It, it don't make a sense. He didn't tell me to go to the front though. He Amen. told me keep it. Straight his commandment. <laughs> Got the thing to keep his. All right. To do them. To do what? To do them. I got to do it. I got to be a doer of the commandment. He said, love your neighbor and thou. You know, you can't love your neighbor if you love yourself. Sometimes, you know, that's helped me out a whole lot, Lynn, about how some people are. And you thinking that they are mean people. But you really look at, really, they, dis they uh, feel disappointed by themselves. They don't love something about themselves. So if you don't love something about yourself, Check it's telling me, looking at me, I'll start doing this. But actually, it's, you. it's me. So when you can get that revelation, 
you say, oh God, they couldn't, I don't know why. And they, they don't care too much about themselves, so I'm going to find something else to fault somebody else. Mm -hmm. All right. To love the Lord your God, to walk in all His ways. To walk in all, who way? His ways. His ways. And to cleave unto him. And to cleave unto him. Cleave. I mean, take my, take my. Jake, he said, I ain't turning you loose. So you're blessed. So we don't cleave to him. Basically, when we're going through something, we turn loose. I thought about that lady when she took that woman into that now church, that young girl, how she walked around that field and she kept told and she tied her with a rag mm -hmm. and she was clean to her. Yeah. And that's what Jesus is saying. He said, clean to me no matter how you feel, what's going on with you, what you think is being done to you, clean to me. And see, when you cling to him, he said, I would direct your path because I got it set up. After a while, I'm going to set you down where you need to be. And you're set up. But you got to cling to him. You, you don't cling to him, you miss it. My God. Thank God for me clinging to him. Okay, look what he said. Then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you. Okay, now he can do, who gonna drive them out? If I cling to him, he gonna drive them out. But if I don't cling to him, I won't find them, but they coming right back. I fight, they coming right back. After a while, my arms are tied. And then I what I'm doing, I done gave up, and I'm weak, and I start giving up. I give up. But right there, because I'm fighting myself. But right there, he said he'll drive them out. I'll drive them clean out your way. From before you. And what else? And ye shall possess greater nations. And I shall do what? Possess greater nations. So I'm going to start what? Possessing. Possessing. Increasing. Amen. Multiply. Putting things in order, I'm going to be a happy person. <laughs> because he done set me up. Yeah, you let him set you up. And mightier than yourselves. And you're going to be what? I'm going to be what? He said, ye shall possess greater nations mm -hmm. and mightier than yourselves. Mighty than yourself. That means, whoo, I thought I had it going on, but I'm going to be more mighty than I am now. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Y'all think y'all got it now? <laughs> think you got it on now? You're going to put your mind in that. Amen. I just let him do what he need to do. Okay, look at this. Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours. From the wilderness. Oh, 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 where, what you say? Everything like what? Every place whereon the soles of your feet Wherever shall you tread shall be yours. So that means I can take it over. Amen. I can take it over wherever my feet thread. Whatever I, I desire and want, I can walk and claim, believe it by faith, and take it by faith. And he'll come in and what? Bring it to faith. 